you are watching The Pretty Fix, your ultimate online makeup resource. And we're gonna tackle a very important topic today, which is how to keep your makeup organized at home. Most women I've seen literally toss all of their makeup into some big drawer or they throw it into a bag and then they just call it a day. But have you noticed how messy and covered in makeup everything gets and how you can never really find that one thing that you're after? We're gonna put all of this to rest. If you can keep your makeup organized, you're gonna stop making a mess every day, you're gonna feel so much better while you're getting ready, and the best part is that this process only takes three easy steps. So let's get into it. Step one, group your products together. If you really wanna get organized, it's super helpful to start by grouping your makeup products together by type. Lay everything out where you can see it all, Put all of your lipsticks together, your blushes, your eyeliners, etc., etc., until everything has been sorted into its own group. Boom! You're already done with step one. How does that feel? Step two, get rid of the oldies. So now that you've got all of your makeup out in front of you, you're probably gonna notice that you have a bunch of stuff that you've either never used, haven't used in a long time, maybe don't even really like, <laughs> I know it's hard, but you've got to start trimming away the excess. If it's been over six months since you've touched it, let it go. Hoarding is really counterproductive to your organization, so do your best to be honest with yourself. You can do this. Step three, find the right containers. So everyone obviously has a different area dedicated to their makeup. So whether you leave your makeup out on a counter or you have it tucked away into drawers, you're gonna need to find the right containers that fit your particular situation. Ideally, each type of product that you've grouped should have its own container, although of course you can also group similarly shaped items together too. The main things to consider when selecting a container are, number one, can I see all the makeup in that particular container at one time? And number two, does it fit all the products I need without being too much bigger so that things aren't moving around too much? Small trays or sets of small drawers are really great for housing flat makeup compacts, like your blushes, your eyeshadows, your powders. This keeps the products displayed for you to choose from, and it also keeps them a little more contained than just kind of loosey-goosey floating around in a drawer. Trays are also really great, and these can be used to lay out your eyeliners, your lip liners, etc. But these type of products also do well stood up in cups so that you can see the color indicating end pointed up. It's totally fine to keep your makeup brushes in a cup as well, as long as they're put away where they won't get dusty. But if you purchase a brush roll for them to store them flat, this is a great option to have around for travel too. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Pretty Fix. I hope that we finally demystified the elusive art of makeup organization so that you can finally keep your makeup space clean and make your makeup routine so much easier. If these tips were helpful to you, please give this video a like and hit the red subscribe button so that you can see all the other amazing tutorials we have coming your way. For way more makeup tips and inspo, make sure you're following us on Instagram at the underscore pretty underscore fix and head over to our website at theprettyfix.com for way more expert makeup advice.